Hey Funko Production fans, and welcome back to the second episode of LPS React. Now, if you are new to my channel, you may not know what LPS React is. Basically, what LPS React is, it's a monthly series where I will be asking a question at the end of each episode, and whichever fan answers the question in the comments below most accurately and first gets to be on an episode. And in the episode, I will be giving tips and tricks and hints and ideas for their videos that way they can make their videos even more better to get more subscribers and likers and just have an amazing YouTube experience. Also, if you are new to my channel, then go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's right down below. Also, this is an LPS channel and you're probably not used to seeing this kind of stuff, aka this thing that's talking to you on LPS channels very often and if you do want to see more of this thing that's talking to you then go check out my face channel where I do all kinds of I guess you could say human youtuber stuff I do challenges tags DIY skits tutorials how to's all that really fun stuff so definitely go check it out and one more thing I am wearing cat ears and I have decided to wear these cat ears in every single episode of LPS React just cause I think that they really represent LPS in a way. I don't really know how they represent LPS in a way but it's like being an animal for like an hour or so, so it's kind of cool. But now let's get onto the stuff that you actually are here for. So in last month's episode I asked the question, what was the biggest mistake I made in LPS My Hopeless Romance episode 3 season 1. Now I know there were so many mistakes in that episode, I mean the lighting was horrible, the LPS were everywhere, and I was everywhere honestly. I didn't even write a script for that episode, I was just kind of going offhand. It was just absolutely horrible, it didn't turn out like a third episode should turn out, but I mean... I was still getting used to the fact that I was actually starting to get popular with that series. So I was trying my best, but I guess it didn't work out and there was a lot of mistakes in that episode. And to help you guys out a little bit, I posted a hint on my Instagram, at Funk Production, and the hint for the question was... The biggest mistake I made in LPS My Hope is Romance Episode 3 Season 1 was actually a mistake that like everybody in the comment section noticed. Like if you look down in the comments, you could tell what the biggest mistake was. And I'm actually going to have the picture of what it is right here. The biggest mistake was found in this picture, and if you don't know what it was, you'll see in the corner, Hope's mom is at the party. I'm gonna be totally honest, half of the comments are saying, oh my gosh, Hope's mom is at the party. But, I'm just letting you guys know, that was a total, total mistake. I did not mean to have her mom at the party. Some people are thinking that the reason why she was in that scene is because she was like looking after her daughter to make sure she didn't get hurt or anything, but that's not true. Um, I actually used all of my cats and my dogs for that party scene. I know I'm being like animal racist. Um, I used all my cats and my dogs for that scene, so I accidentally pulled her out of the box and dressed her and I thought no one would notice, but I guess she was in that scene in that very spot so everyone noticed her but you know what there are things that viewers notice that us youtubers don't notice and that's why I have other people watch my videos before I upload them because now I realize I make those mistakes but I'm not gonna go and linger on because that's not what this video is about this video is about a certain someone who guessed that question right and the winner is Vixella LPS Pug. Congratulations! Also, sorry if I said your channel name wrong. BTW, I'm probably gonna say a lot of things wrong unless you guys like email me personally on how to say your channel because I'm just gonna guess and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Vixella LPS Pug is another one of our smaller LPS tube channels. She currently actually has a little over 100 subscribers and 57 videos. And looking at her channel right now, she's actually got a few people who are pretty close friends with her. She's also got a lot of videos up and she seems to be pretty active. And also her profile picture is a pug. That is super adorable. Fun fact, I want a pug one day. So, 
I'm just saying, you're cool like that. <laughs> now, she told me personally that she did not want any of her social medias being shared, but if you guys do want to keep updated with her, I would definitely go check out her channel. And by the looks of it as well, she's also got a few series up. However, the series I will be watching today is LPS Lost and Unknown. So let's not dawdle on any longer and let's get into the tips and tricks and hints. A short description about what we are going to be seeing in the episode is... Blossom is a typical preteen. The story starts with her inside her new middle school. Jama Middle. Is that how you say it? I'm just gonna guess. As soon as she gets there, she sees her old BFF, Grand, or Grand. I speak French and Grand is the way you spelled it, so I don't know, but maybe when we watch the video I'll find out how to pronounce all of this stuff. She later meets Little, who likes Blossom from the very start. But that would be a problem to someone, Fauna. One day, Blossom is with Little at the park. No one other than Fauna sees them. The next day, she talks to Little, and they get into a fight. If you want to know what the bad old kitty does, I can tell you. You have to find out yourself. So it definitely sounds like a little bit of drama is about to go down, but it definitely sounds really interesting, so I'm really excited to go and see it. The description of her video is... Blossom is going to her new middle school, Jama Middle, still don't know how to say that, for the first time. She's a 7th grader and was homeschooled all of 6th grade, even though she did go to elementary school full-time in her past school years. She goes to the same school her brother, Prince, is going to, but two weeks after school had started. She makes new friends, like Little, and sees old BFFs like Grand, or Grand. One day, about a month or so later, she is at the park, where she sees Little. They never say why they are there. All they do is chat. Fauna, aka the kind of popular girl, even though it isn't ever said that she's the most popular girl, and is nice at the time, is going to the park at the same time to meet someone, her best friend, Pouncing. She sees Blossom and Little talking and hears their conversation. Blossom mentions Fauna and Little says something a bit rude about her. No, it's not a cuss. I know what you're thinking. I wouldn't do that. Good. And Fauna hears it. The next day, Fauna asks Little to come over and chat. After a chat tongue, chat, I think that's chatting, but uh, just you make sure you spell check for a while, Blossom ends up coming over. Blossom ends up coming when Fauna asks about her. Just kind of make sure you're checking your grammar a little bit. Fauna then gets angry at both of them, doing something she will never regret. So, so far this sounds like a pretty interesting series and I am super excited to get in and watch. So, let's get started. Okay, I know I just watched like four seconds in, but I do have to say something. Um, your music in the background, great choice. I I love Kevin McLoy. I don't know how to say his last name. I love Incompetech.com. They have great music for LPS videos. And it's awesome that you already have music in your background. That's a great start. And your lighting looks pretty good as well. But I do want to mention your music is a little bit too loud. Now, when you are recording, you obviously are speaking loud. But then when you put music on top of that, it kind of just softens down. I mean, you're talking pretty loud, but the music is just kind of over going on top of your voice. So what you want to do is when you add music into your videos, you are definitely going to want to lower the music a little bit or or you can raise the volume of the video. Just make sure that your music is not overplaying your voices. And although I can hear you, I can't hear you as perfect as I would if the music was a little bit softer. So that is the first tip. Make sure your music is not too loud and kind of like overpowering your voices because it's the voices you want to hear and a little bit less of the music. But awesome job with having music in the background. That is a great start. And also, your lighting looks pretty good as well. I mean, it's not perfect lighting, but it's definitely somewhere to start. I guess I'll go in. Wow. Okay, so I saw that your LPS was trying to go through the door and you kind of just like put her on the door. Yeah, that's not how real life works. You don't just kind of put yourself on the door and then you go through it. 
what you're going to want to do is when you're having a character go through a door or maybe have a door scene or something like that, have your character walk up to the door, stop the camera, then pretend like your LPS is opening the door, stop the camera, or you can just like cut this all out later. Then put your LPS down and then walk them in and then close the door, but have close the door like so you don't see your hand. So like pretend this is the door you want, like pretend this is... Here, I'll use this. Pretend this is the door. You want your hand to be on top of it like that. That way they don't see you opening and closing it. So there is tip number two. Make sure your LPS don't just walk through doors. They actually open the door and go through it. What I'm seeing here is you're kind of like picking up your camera and moving it and as you're moving it you're moving your other hand and kind of like interacting with the LPS. Now that is a good idea however I can hear your camera moving in the background. I don't know if it's like snagging onto your shirt and making like that noise or something like that or maybe you have like a carpet area behind your camera and it's just kind of like scratching up against it but what you want to do is you don't want it to necessarily be like scratching on the ground so if you do have like a hard surface when you move your camera around just when you're in editing turn down the volume in the video that way you don't hear your camera moving and also if you're moving your camera and you want your LPS to like interact with each other what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move your camera stop it then start recording again and interact with the LPS there then once you're done interacting, stop it, move it again, and interact, and just stop and move and stop and move. You don't want to necessarily have your camera just like shaking around and you trying to interact. That's not the greatest idea, but I definitely see that you were trying to make it look like all your LPS were interacting. And another fun thing you could do if you have a sibling or someone else around the house that has an extra hand, you could just have them do the interacting while you move the camera. So there's your next tip. Make sure when you're doing an interactive scene that your camera isn't making some weird noise in the background and that you're not just moving your hand as your camera is moving. noticing when you are talking as this character you're still kind of holding your camera and while you're moving your LPS your other hand is kind of doing the same thing it's kind of like you know patting your head and rubbing your stomach it's pretty hard I think I just did that the other way around it's this way there we go I'm still doing it wrong whatever but basically it's kind of hard because you kind of feel like your hand should be doing the same thing like you should both both hands should be patting your stomach and your head but really what you want is your head to be moving around a circle and you to be patting your stomach oh I'm doing it but that's kind of with that situation there as you're talking with that LPS your other hand is kind of mimicking it and moving the camera if you can I don't know if you can but if you can, try to get a tripod or just set your camera down. That way it's not moving while you're interacting with that LPS. Because you don't want your camera to be shaking too much. Like, for example, right now my camera is not moving. It's actually on the tripod right now. It's not moving, so it, you don't have any, like problem seeing it or anything I guess you could say I'm not really sure where I'm going with this but basically you just don't want a lot of movement going on with the camera you want more movement focusing on your LPS so if your camera is moving you can't necessarily focus on anything because it might be blurry depending on how fast you're moving it but basically just make sure that your camera is still while you're interacting with an LPS
I am noticing that you are still kind of holding your camera. So just make sure, as I said before, to maybe just put it on your desk while you're interacting with your LPS. That way you also have another hand free. But you just want to make sure that your camera's not moving too much or else you can't necessarily see the action. ...office for the first time. Huh? Of course, darling. Have a nice day. I'll see you tomorrow in your meeting. I guess I'll sit up here. Oh my, darling. I now with something like that, I've said this in the last episode if you were watching, but make sure when you are moving one LPS from like one scene to the next scene, you don't want to see your hand like pick up from the LPS because it basically just means that you're like that LPS is no longer alive anymore and you want to make sure that that LPS is like alive the whole time. I'm sorry if you're not understanding what the heck I'm saying but basically what you did was you had your hand on your LPS and then you moved it up to the chair and then you let go and then you stopped the recording. You don't want to do that. You do not want your audience to see you move your hand. So maybe next time in editing either stop the recording and then move your hand or move your hand and when you're in editing, cut that part out when you're moving your hand. Darling, I didn't notice you. You must be the new student. Blossom, is it? Um, yes. My name's Blossom. You're correct, Miss... Uh... Ellie. Miss Ellie, the principal of your- Now, I'm noticing before, between your two characters, you're still holding your camera and you're also moving your hand from place to place. Make sure your camera is set down, that way you have that extra hand free. So you could just use both hands to interact, you don't have to keep switching. And if you are gonna switch, just cut that part out where you're switching your hands. Of your school. Let me just call in my sec secretary. Um, she'll be in in just a second. Okay, miss, I got the papers. Okay, uh, here they all are. <laughs> Wonderful, darling, thank you. Um, Blossom, May is actually going to be showing you around the school for the day. Oh, okay, thanks, Principal Ellie. Of course, and on that note, bye-bye. Come to my office or tell May if you need anything, okay, darling? Come on, Blossom. I'll show you to your locker and around for a little while. Follow me. That sheet you have in your paws right now is the sheet with your... So I've been noticing when you end your scene, your camera is kind of like doing that thing. Like it's kind of falling or something like that. But like when you press the button, it kind of goes down a little bit. Make sure when you're in editing, just kind of cut that part out when you, you know, like accidentally tilt your camera when you press end. And it could also be the same thing for when you're starting a new scene. So just make sure you don't see your camera move too much. With your schedule and everything, um, what I have is your notebook that you need for one of your classes. Um, you have to have a special notebook, that's why. Um, and also another piece of paper for your class, which also includes um, passes just in case if you need them. Okay, so which locker do I have? Locker 208. Follow me. Excuse me, Miss Della, would you please mind moving out of the way? Oh, May, of course. Let me just get out of the way. Come on, Ivy. Right here. Um, if you need anything else, and need a little tour, just tell me. Um, you can ask any other student if you like. Just here you go, here's your forms, here's everything. Just let me get back before she gets angry at me, okay? Miss Ellie ha actually has a temper sometimes, especially when it comes to me. Thanks, May. Let me take those forms now. Let's see here. So that was kind of an awkward transition. I don't really know what happened to May. She kind of just 
disappeared after Blossom said goodbye. So make sure you do record May going away or else it's just like, magic, she disappeared. Unlocked. Let me just put a few things away and there, I got that stuff away, at least. <laughs> Still have this, which I will need for the day. Let's see, first I have Mac. So it's definitely good to see that your character is, you know, dialoguing and stuff like that, but it'd be kind of nicer to maybe see your character's face. I mean, right now I'm really just getting a picture of her tail and the person or the pet next to her's tail. I would really rather see your pet's face instead of the back end. So whenever you're recording a scene like that, make sure you see the front of the LPS and not the back. It's kind of more entertaining to see the front side than the back side. Hi. Huh? Oh, hi. Um, I'm in new here. I heard you had Mac first. I do too. My name's Little. Yours must be Blossom according to your schedule. <laughs> I actually pay attention quite well. Oh, hi Little. Um, could you show me where the math room is? Because... I feel as if the bell's about to. So when the bell went off, when you shook the camera, you could hear your cameras shaking. So just to make sure in editing you like lower down the volume, that way you don't hear that shaking noise. But I must say, you're actually doing really, really good. I've kind of seen that you kind of applied some of the tips that some LPS tubers have said in the past, or that I've said in the past, like in the last episode, or maybe you've just seen other LPS, LPS, tubers, LPS tubers, can't talk, do that, and then you kind of like did the same thing. But you're doing really, really well. I'm surprised to see that you are applying a lot of good tips and tricks and doing a lot of good things that maybe like a really popular LPS to to burr would do and by the way your characters have really cool names like those are really cool exotic names already obsessed like y'all do that <laughs> of course just follow me blossom i'll explain if we're late that you know you're a new student and i just showed you to the math room Oh yay, an intro. Love intros. However, I do see there is like a popsicle, like a white popsicle stick in the background when you're holding your LPS. I think you're trying to copy the idea that um, LPS tubers have in the intro where it kind of looks like the character is talking by themselves. I think you were trying to achieve that, but you can kind of obviously see that little white stick. So another idea is you could use a clear straw or you could actually have a green screen. Now I'm not gonna go into detail on how to use or like make a proper green screen or how to do green screens and set it all up because there are tutorials all over YouTube on how to do that. But honestly, you could literally use a piece of green paper as your green screen and then you can make like a green straw or something like that and then attach it to your LPS. And then after that you go into editing and do all that green screen effects. That way it looks like they're not being held by something, but just make sure if you are going to do something like that, that you don't see that little stick thing. Okay, I don't really know what happened there, but the intro song kind of cut. I'm not sure if it does that in the music, but if it doesn't, just make sure that if you are doing an intro song that needs to cut, try to make sure that the cut in the music is not that noticeable. Why did you disappear? Your left is all here. What was 
that white screen that came in the middle. I'm not really sure if that was a part of that intro, but it kind of looked like it wasn't supposed to be there. So just make sure if that white thing is not supposed to be there, you get rid of it because it kind of looked kind of out of place. But awesome job having an intro. That's a great way to start off a series. What the heck? You guys are doing way better than I did when I first started LPS Tube or LPS Tubing or my series. I didn't even have an intro when LPS My Hopeless Romance started. Crowds. Excuse me, pardon me, coming there. Ow, sorry. Hey, Della, what's all the commotion about? Now, I have been noticing that when you're having like your characters walk from one part of the camera and then they move and then they kind of come out on the other side of the camera, you don't want to see your LPS stop and then once you move your camera, you see them stop and then you pick them up and then you put them back so basically what I'm saying is you took I think that's grand and you walked him over to like the end part of the camera and then you kind of let him go then you stop the recording move the camera and then start moving him again just make sure that if your um, LPS is going to continually walk in like a full scenery that you don't want to see your LPS stop so just make sure when you're moving your camera from the last place they were to the next place that you don't see them stop. So that way in the final product it just looks like your LPS is walking in one continuous motion across the whole entire scenery. Shh, be quiet. You don't want to disturb her. You know, her little speech about her new collar. Fauna got a new collar, didn't she? Yep. For like... I don't know the fifth week this is that she has anyone. Man, I can't even think about how much money she has. But yet again, her house is like... I'm kind of noticing there's like a green dot on like the Dash Hound's face. I'm not sure if that's a mark. I don't think it is because it's kind of just moving wherever the camera goes. It might actually be like a mark on the lens. So just make sure that your lens is clean before you start recording. So ugly. Let's see, next I have French class. Hey, my name's Grant. Nice to meet you. I think something fell in the background, so just make sure while you're recording there's no background noise. I mean, you want all of the attention on your scene, so don't have any other noise going on in the background, or else people are going to pay more attention to the background noise and not the video. Oh. My. Dog. Just make sure, as I said before, when you're moving your camera, don't, you don't hear that, like, shh, 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 shh noise in the background from your desk, or it could be from, like, your arm or something. But basically, you don't want to hear something like, when you move your camera. Blossom, I can't believe it's you, OMG, I haven't seen you in, like, forever. Oh my gosh, remember how we met? Oh my dog, yes! It's like we're meeting again in like a new, actual, cool, actual, friendly perspective. Don't mention the first time I was bullied. Okay, I'm kind of confused on who's talking. I mean, I know that they probably have different voices, but you're not making it exactly clear on who and who's talking. Like, for instance, you're kind of just letting them stand there and just kind of talking verbally. You want to make sure that you're still moving your LPS, especially because you don't know who's talking to who right now. And since there's not much of a vocal or like a pitch change in between these two characters, I can't really tell who's saying who. So make sure even if your characters are hugging, you're still moving your LPS or if there's a pitch change in the characters' voices, make sure it's noticeable that way we know who's talking bullied again grand oops <laughs> sorry i forget you hate that moment so you're like two weeks behind about yeah two weeks right i can't keep track <laughs> that's the grand i always knew well great catching up but i gotta go to class you should too. Bye. See you around sometime. My locker's 
I don't even remember. <laughs> Oh, hey. Ooh, I love the park scenery. Well done with that. Is uh, everything okay? Oh, hi, little. Everything's perfectly fine. Again, why did Patsy want to meet? Huh? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Now, I just noticed right there when Lana or Fauna or whatever her name is, I think it's Fauna, when she came into the scene, it kind of sounded like Little and Blossom just kind of stopped talking. If you can, okay, this is going to be really hard to explain. So basically, you want to keep them talking, and then once Fauna comes in, you want her to talk. Now you're probably like, how do I make myself talk at the same time? Well, you've probably seen other YouTubers or LPS tubers do this. Basically what I do is I would have those two talking in that one scene you shot. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move Fauna in the way that you want. And then go on to, when you're in your editing system, just a microphone which you want her to say in. But just make sure when Fauna is talking that Blossom and Little are lowered down, like their conversation's a little bit softer. That way you can tell that Fauna's kind of talking and then they're talking in their own conversation in the background. And remember when Graham said, It's Little. He hasn't been talking to me at all. And lately he's been hanging out with Fauna and Graham like a lot lately. felt like all this time. Maybe I'm just forgotten. Maybe I'm not needed. I saw that tree in the background when Fauna went in fall. So if that does happen, I know it's going to suck. But what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to reshoot that scene. That way that tree doesn't fall because that doesn't happen in real life. And you don't want your props falling everywhere. I mean, I mean, it happens to me all the time when um, I'm having an LPS like walk around and then accidentally bumps into something and something falls, something other falls thing else falls it's just a crazy mess so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to stop the camera put everything back and then reshoot the scene I know it sucks but you want to make your videos look as professional as possible I mean in movies do you see like one of the actors go up and accidentally hit something and then they just have it fall no they have them redo it until they've got the perfect shot thanks for staying with me all these months it's just you haven't really been talking to other pets, you know? I used to see you talk to Fauna and stuff all the time. I thought I'd pounce. So like I said earlier in the video, make sure your music isn't too loud because right now your music is actually really, really loud and I can't hear the characters talking too much and it's kind of sounds kind of emotional and you I can't really hear what they're saying so just make sure that your music is not overpowering your voice. Just ever since that one day, it's just been me and you and Graham all the time. You're saying I've forgotten about them? Maybe you should talk to Fauna. She might be feeling down about this. <laughs> it's not like Fauna would feel down about something that simple. You know? Fauna isn't that... I don't know the right word for it. He didn't. To be honest, I'm not saying, I'm not, no, I don't know if this is actually true, but it kind of sounds like you're kind of winging things because you're kind of like, um, I don't know the word for it. And when, um, Grand was back at his locker, he was like, my locker is, I don't even know what it is. Like, it could be a part of the character's real, like, personality. But honestly, I feel like it's happening a little bit too often. So if you can, make sure you have a script. Or what I like to do if I'm winging something, I like to kind of 
I guess you could say rehearse the entire thing that way I know what I'm going to say and if I can I just make little small notes that way I remember what I need to remember that way it doesn't sound like I'm totally winging things just say that I'm gonna go now Make sure your props don't fall. Just joking. I'm not really sure what happened there, but it kind of sounded like Blossom was cut off. I kind of heard the word joking and then it just kind of cut off. I'm not really sure what happened there, but just make sure that it's something like that is going to cut off that you just make sure you finish whatever the character was saying before that. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but... Hmm. But good job at actually cutting off scenes. Like, that's that's what I do. I cut off a few scenes like that all the time. And that's actually a really professional thing, so good job. Tavana, Little is here. Would you like me to let him in? Oh my gosh! That is such a cute scene. I love the mirror and that couch and the bookshelf. The mirror is actually, like, I'm really obsessed with the mirror. That looks so real. Like, good job on, like, your house decor. I applaud it. <laughs> Of course, let him in. Okay, mistress. Hi, Fauna. You called me here? A little. I've kind of been noticing that you haven't filmed um, Little walking to each position because he kind of just showed up out of nowhere and then he just kind of showed up on the couch. So make sure you film, you know, Little walking to those scenes because it just kind of looks like poof. Magic, magic, magic. That's not supposed to be there, not sure, but it kind of just seems kind of a little unnatural. Do you, by any chance, like her in that perspective? Uh, guys, is everything go? Oh my, that was unexpected. Interesting way to end cliffhangers <laughs> well guys that was Beeks Ella LPS Pugs video and no cliffhangers now I know how you guys feel when I end LPS My Hopeless Romance episodes and all I see in the comments is cliffhanger 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 <laughs> I must say that story definitely took a turn and I am really hooked that looks really really interesting you have a great plot line you have an amazing storyline it looks really interesting it definitely looks unique I will definitely be checking in on you a lot especially to see if you are applying these tips and hints and tricks but also because I want to see what happens next well guys I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of LPS react and if you guys did please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below also, go give some love to Vixella LPS Pug because her series is amazing and she actually has a few other series on her channel that I haven't been able to watch but I'm probably going to watch anyways just cause. But definitely go give her some love and go give her a subscribe and a like and share her content that way she can get nice and big because she definitely deserves a lot of subscribers because that series is really unique. It's definitely something I haven't seen like ever in the LPS tube but it definitely looks awesome and if you guys enjoyed it definitely go check her out now I know you guys are wondering what the heck is the next question to get onto the next video because I know that's all people care about just kidding I'm sure it's not but I do need to go over some things that have happened with LPS react because I've been getting a few questions I guess you could say about it and I need to answer them so like I said before in the introduction video just because I am watching your videos and stuff like that I will not be actually subscribing to be honest I would love to subscribe to all the people I'm going to watch but after the while my inbox is just going to be filling up and filling and up and filling up even more and if I just subscribe to one person it's just going to be completely unfair to others and honestly I just don't want to do that to everybody I mean I want to get around to everybody as much as I can and I can't subscribe to like a million people because that would be way too many so I'm not going to be subscribing to you if you are on LPS react I am really really sorry I do normally subscribe for entertainment purposing only and I know this is kind of entertainment purposes because I'm liking your series and I'm enjoying your series but after a while I'll begin 
to lose track of who's who, where's where, you know, blah, 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 blah. So it's just kind of confusing. So no, I will not be subscribing to you if you get onto LPS React. Also, another thing, I have been getting a few emails from fans who just think that they're automatically in LPS React. That is not how it works. You have to comment down below in this video. Don't comment anywhere else. Comment in this video the answer of the question because if you put it somewhere else, I, I won't see it. But you need to answer the question in order to get onto LPS react I've gotten a few people who have emailed me and just put the link in and you know show me the thumbnail and ask me to go watch their videos and that's not really how this whole entire series works I would love to get to everyone who has emailed me about it but unfortunately that would be unfair to the people who are listening to the rules and commenting down below the answers so do make sure that you do that and follow the rules don't just go on and email me and just think that you're at my autumn um, Adam, oh, I can't talk today. You're not automatically in. I said it. But you're not automatically in once I post the video. You actually have to answer the question. And if you do answer it, I will be responding to you by emailing you in any way. And please, please, please have some sort of contact information up on your channel because I have been getting a few problems, even though this is the only second episode of trying to reach certain people who need to be on these episodes. So definitely have some sort of contact information on your channel. Also, another thing um, I just wanted to mention, um, once I email you, you will have an entire week to respond and give me the information that I need. I know that a week doesn't sound like a lot and say you need a week to edit and then you're gonna put it up, but I need it within a week because just because of my busy schedule and normally I always have a week that I would love to record and I remember I really wanted to record this video but I accidentally didn't send out the email and just so many things happened and then I wasn't able to get things in within a week so a new rule is you need to make sure once I email you you have a week to respond with all the information I need for the episode and if you don't respond within that week I will be notifying you that it is too late and I will be moving on to the person who answered the who answered the question second best and they will be the person on the episode and not you so if you want to be on LPS react and you don't have some sort of series or information or anything that I need from you by the time you I contact you just make sure you have everything up make sure you have a series up make sure you have some sort of contact information I don't care whether it be by email or by social media or something like that just long as it's not Facebook I don't have a Facebook but um just make sure you have some sort of contact information and make sure you already have your series up because I can't be waiting too long I have a lot of busy stuff to do and I am honestly really on a schedule of when things need to go up so please have all of your stuff ready and make sure that you once I email you that you make sure that you get within that week response or else I you will be in the next episode and that'll be really sad but yeah it's now time to move on to the question to get in LPS react episode three wait a minute that's six three <laughs> and the question is as you guys know I do dance and that isn't technically a sport but it definitely falls under some sort of sport activity but besides dance what is my favorite sport? And this week I'm going to be switching it up a bit and the hint will actually be on my Twitter. So if you want the hint, go follow me on Twitter at LPSFGP. But yeah guys, and as I said before, make sure you follow those rules, have all your stuff up, go check out Vixella LPS Pug. I hope I said that right, sorry if I didn't. And the question is, what is my favorite sport besides dance? The hint will be on my Twitter at LPSFGP. But yeah guys, I will see you guys next time. Bye!